Hi, thanks for joining me. Today I've got a slightly different type of video. I'm going to show you something and I'm going to leave it to you to decide whether what I've done is mathematically valid or not. Uh, so I'll be interested to hear what you have to say in the comments down below. So we want to solve this equation here. So f of x minus the integral of f of x dx equals 1. And so the way that I'm going to do this is I'm going to kind of factor out the f from the left hand side and write this as 1 f times 1 minus the integral equals 1 and if I divide both sides by this 1 minus integral sign I get f is just 1 over 1 minus integral uh, applied to 1 but now 1 over 1 minus integral well there's a pretty famous relationship known as uh, black pen red pen's best friend that 1 over 1 minus x is just 1 plus x plus x squared plus x cubed and so on like this and so therefore this thing here should just be 1 plus integral plus integral squared, which is integral integral, plus integral cubed, which is integral integral integral, and so on. All of this applied to the number 1. But then what is this? So 1 times 1 is just 1. What's the integral of 1? Well, that's just x. Well, what's the double integral of 1? Well, if you integrate 1 once, you get x. And if you integrate x, you get x squared over 2. If you do uh, integrate 1 three times, you're going to get x cubed over 6, and so on. And this hopefully looks familiar. This is just the Taylor expansion for e to the x. And so we get that f of x is e to the x. And you can indeed verify, if you plug this in up here, that e to the x minus the integral of e to the x, while it's a constant, the plus c, so as long as the constant there is 1, this equation is certainly true. So is this valid? Or have I done something illegal here? Let me know in the comments.